Now to the weather. Severe storms pummeled the east coast today. Snow and flooding rains were in the north. The south woke up to thunder, lightning, and twisters. David Begno is there. At least four tornadoes barreled through South Florida in the middle of rush hour this morning. 86 to 110 mile per hour winds ripped the top off this 18 wheeler on Florida's busy I-95 in Miami, tossing the big rig on its side. David Matienzo was on his way to work. It was basically like the Twister movie. <laughs> That's basically the best way I can describe it. And all of a sudden, like something like a metal sign just like bam, like flashed and like hit the front of my car and it shattered the window. These strong gusts tore roofs off buildings, uprooted trees, and tossed some on the houses. A power line snapped, starting a fire in this residential area of Miami. This same storm system also spawned an EF3 tornado late yesterday in Century, Florida. That's on the Alabama border. The over 135 mile per hour winds flattened cars and destroyed homes. Southern Mississippi was also hit. In Capaya County, this home was demolished. Malcolm Irwin lives nearby. It sounded like a low flying jet. It, it really did. Here in Miami, those 100 mile per hour winds toss this tree like a toy. Look at the base. I'm 6'1, and it's nearly enough to swallow me. Scott, tornadoes here are not rare, but forecasters say because of El Nino, South Florida could get more tornadoes just like they did today, well into the month of March. David Begno, thanks.